Today on the Black Market Outpost, we take part in a long overdue collaboration. That's coming up. Over two years ago, I purchased this helmet. I knew I didn't want it to look like this helmet or this helmet. I knew I wanted it to be some sort of a rogue pilot, maybe a deserter or after the war type thing, but how do I paint it? I don't know how to do that stuff. Through the makers community, I met Tabitha. Tabitha is an artist. She agreed to paint the helmet. I packed it up and I shipped it out to her. Let's head over to Tabitha's studio and the Black Market Outpost shop and get this build started. Sometimes the tool you choose for the job isn't the right one. The Dremel left a real ugly cut, so I decided I was going to frame it in a piece of MDF. The MDF actually helped out with the attachment of the badge. It gave me almost a cradle I could attach the magnets to. That way it would be removable for programming or charging. Yep, you guessed it. That's a Greebly patch. I did my best to make sure that there was as many mechanical connections as possible. Some of the Greeblies needed a little persuasion. You just never know where your next LED lens will come from. I decided to go with liquid latex for the masking. It worked out really well.
There's a real satisfying feeling when you're peeling off that latex. I've come to realize that the hard drive motor has become the universal greebly for our building community. In the final build, I ended up replacing one of these aluminum studs with the actual on-off switch for the LEDs. That's a salt shaker. The lenses I purchased off of Etsy were the wrong shape for the particular helmet I had, so I heated them up and reformed them. This was a completely unexpected mechanical connection. It just so happened that the hose I purchased threaded perfectly into the inch and a half PVC cap. I guess salt shakers have much more purpose than just shaking salt. I purchased these salt shakers for a Cobb Vanth cosplay, but they just had the perfect shape and look for this helmet. I decided to keep the display stand simple, so I chose to make it out of PVC pipe. A quick test fit, and then it's off to paint.
My friends, I'm super happy with the turnout of this build. I can't thank Tabitha enough. Her choice of colors, her artistry, all of it. And if you haven't figured out by now, we all know she's a little bit of a Stargate fan. It's one thing I learned during this build, is that if there's something you can't do, there's somebody out there who can teach you how to do it, or can help you do it. I'll have links below to Tabitha's Facebook page, Etsy store, she's got amazing artwork you can pick up in her Etsy store. And I'll also put a link in to where you can find her portion of this collaboration. Once again guys, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time on the Black Market Outpost.